Bye, guys. So from my house to the training facility, it's about a 40-minute drive and I really cherish that time. It's a time where I just feel like I'm in my own space and during that time I can be in my own mental space. From a young age, my parents always instilled in, into my mentality that there's always time for people and there's always time to try to help someone and make a difference. We've allowed children to come into our training facility, into our locker rooms, and be a part of our game day experience, be a part of our work experience. I think the players benefit more than the children. It allows them to take a step back, especially in such a cutthroat business, take a step back and really remember what's important. I'm 35 and long gone are the days where I could step onto a field and just kick the ball 60 yards with my first kick. Um, I think even thinking about that makes my body hurt. I need a little bit longer to warm up. I need a little bit longer to make sure that I'm doing the right strength training to get ready for the next day. A little more maintenance. I think it just comes with the territory. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. I came here to prove it. I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get ready to race to the top. I'm ready to do this. Show you what the truth is. I step on the field. It's time to get real. I'm feeling so ruthless. My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop Lower the lights down, hand over my crown, hand over my heart I do this for my town, I do this for my crown So turn me up real loud, my time, my time, none of you yeah. people can tell me to stop I'll work out until I have to go If I had the opportunity, I would just stay at training all day long I would be there early and I'd be there until really late. There was a time in my professional career early on where there was anxiety going into training because I wanted to be so good, I wanted to succeed, I wanted to not fail essentially. And it's nice to see that over time and over the thousands of training sessions I've had throughout my professional career that anxiety doesn't exist anymore. It's allowed me to be the professional that I am today. As a leader, I'm the best that I can be right now. I, I think every single day I can work at it and be a little better and be a little better and hopefully it makes the team better. But in those moments, that's what it is, is just trying to provide some insight with an underlining of encouragement. So not only do they hear what's important, what needs to be done, but they also believe that they can do it. Well, it looks like the kids built a fort. Yes, the fort. Hey. Where's everyone? Emily's napping. Elon. I saw Elon. So I sent him over there. So where's Olivia? She wanted to go over there. So she just went over there. So we have no kids here? We have Emily. <laughs> there has to be a balance between me doing what's necessary to perform at the highest level but then also making sure that I'm a parent at the highest level. My kids just want their dad to play. Hi, how are you guys? Are you guys okay that I have cameras with me? <laughs> so the two older girls, Alex and Isabel, they live right behind us. And then So wearing goalie gloves. Uh, he lives on the other goalie side. Hey, do you guys want to go to the brook? Throw some rocks into the water? Yay! All right, let's go. It looks sort of shallow right there. Ugh. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. Like seven or eight. Nine, All right. Like seven or eight. All right, watch out, that? so. And there goes the boot. I was willing to watch it go down the, the stream. Yeah, you didn't even move. <laughs> didn't even move. Ow. Didn't move at all. I knew we had Ed, so we were fine. Even when we started talking about this project, there was this mindset of, well, let's go deeper. Of course, we, we want to have as big of an impact as possible, but also let's have a deeper impact with a couple of people that we can really come alongside and have a relationship with and track with them. My wife and I are serious about impacting our community in a positive way and making this experience as positive as possible for the families that we get to come alongside. So our first kid is Diego. He's five and a half and he just finished kindergarten. His favorite subject is recess, my kind of guy. So Diego's first visit to the hospital was in spring of 2017 as he got evaluated for a reoccurring cough and wheezing. He was prescribed a daily inhaler to maintain his asthma in addition to rescue medications and allergy medication. Our next kid is Jack. He's nine years old and he's going to fourth grade. His favorite hobbies are playing and watching soccer, riding bikes, and Legos. He's dealing with myoclonic epilepsy and tick syndrome. Diego, I'm very excited to meet you. I'm hoping that you're willing to come and train with us at our training facility and get you ready for game time when we visit Red Bull Arena. And I can tell you, Jack, that we're excited about meeting you. We hope that you're willing to come and train with us so that you can see what it takes to be a professional soccer player and that you'll be prepared for our experience when we play at Red Bull Arena. I look forward to meeting you and I hope to see you soon. you know, did you notice all the seizures last night? And I'm like, no. They said he was having one a minute that first night. 